book review time. Live Your Truth and Other Lies by Alisa Childers. That's Alisa Childers, not Alyssa Childers. You got that? Live Your Truth and Other Lies. Let's get into it. So in this book review, I am going to give you what I liked, what I disliked, my favorite quote, my difficulty rating, and my ding rating, how much I liked the book. So basically in this book, uh, Elisa gives a biblical critique and commentary on our life in a postmodern world uh, where the truth is subjective and people dismiss godly living for their own impulsive selfishness. So firstly, what did I like? There were three things that I liked about this book. The first is that this book is definitely bold. There's no sugarcoating. Uh, what Elisa is saying is the biblical perspective and it doesn't dance around feelings. It is a very bold book and it comes against uh, what the culture is pushing uh, for how we should be living our lives. The second thing that I liked about this book is it is really eye-opening, um, specifically to the current state of Christianity. So it has a lot of research polls in here that really sort of open your eyes to just how bad it is with what Christians today in our country believe. Thirdly, I like that there was a portion that's dedicated to learning how to interpret the Bible while using an example from the Bible and interpreting that example. So to be more specific and clear, she discusses the portion in Judges where it talks about catching wives for yourselves. And she basically goes through that portion, teaches you different ways to interpret the Bible during your own study, and then interprets that section using those interpretive devices. So not only is she telling you how to interpret passages of scripture, but she's also using an example and interpreting it with those different devices of interpretation. Next, what did I dislike about this book? I generally really liked this book. There was only one thing that I would say I disliked, and honestly, it's a very minor thing. I would say that I disliked the formatting a little bit of the book. And what I mean there is there's, there's lots of quotes that are included in these chapters that are put there in order to open your eyes to things. Like I said about the things that I liked. And they're, they're really sort of jarring quotes. But to find out who said these jarring quotes, you have to save your spot in the book flip to the back in the notes section, figure out who said that quote, and then go back to your page, read the quote again, or read the next quote, and then flip back and see who said that one. Uh, I feel like I would have maybe enjoyed the experience a little more if there was footnotes, and I could just see, you know, right there on the bottom of the page who said the quote. It's probably like the most bratty, you know, spoiled dislike you've ever heard in your life. But for me, that was probably the one and only thing that I disliked about this book. My favorite quote comes from page 195, and it says, When we unhinge ourselves from truth, we are left at the mercy of our changing emotions, moods, perceptions, and preferences. And isn't that a fact? My difficulty rating for this book is easy. Uh, it's a tiny bit philosophical, um, but you don't really need any sort of studying or training in any sort of discipline in order to understand what she's talking about. It's very uh, easy to read. And lastly is my ding rating for this book. How much did I like Live Your Truth and Other Lies? Let me tell you my truth for the ding rating for this book, and that is going to be a solid 4.0 out of 5. I really enjoyed this book. Uh, it was generally easy to read. I was able to put it down in like a plane ride and a half, um, and, and I enjoyed every minute of it. I highly recommend it. Thank you, Elisa Childers, for putting out this book.